next installment in this really great series where I teach you how to use TTS to play Star Wars Armada. <clears throat> so I wasn't aware that some of you didn't know how to get TTS and how to get Armada working on TTS. So first of all, you just go to the shop and you buy Tabletop Simulator. So you go to TTS and there you have it, it's the Tabletop Simulator. <clears throat> So, um, if you've bought that, how do you get the Star Wars Armada mod? It's fairly simple, you just click on it in your bibliotheque and you go into the workshop and then you just go to the search bar and you type Star Wars Armada, go enter and then you see some things here <clears throat> and you see the Star Wars Armada completed with scripting and you simply click on it and you just uh, leave a nabo and then it should download um, automatically. I'm just not gonna do that right now because yes, you can see it's already, um, I've already done that and it's already downloaded. Okay, and then I'll see you in Tabletop Simulator. Okay, so once you're in uh, Tabletop Simulator, you could j simply join over the join tab and if somebody's playing Armada with you and he already hosted, you can just join within there. But uh, I'm going to show you how you host. So you click on create and you click on multiplayer because you want to host a game. <clears throat> if you just want to build a fleet, you can uh, stay on single player. My standard settings are just Armada and password123. You should use a password, but nothing too fancy there. You just create the server and then you um, have this nice thingy. And what you then do is you just simply click on workshop and here you should have your Star Wars Armada completed with scripting and you just click on it and you click load and bam, there we have it. <clears throat> now once it's finished loading, you can just simply uh, take a color. I just like to take green. If you don't wanna take green, you can just say on white, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> and there you go, now you've loaded that up. And uh, now I'll come to the second part of this video where I will show you very uh, nice little things you can do with it and how to save lists. So first we're gonna start with the camera control. I mean, I shouldn't be, uh, I shouldn't need to tell you this, but you can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel. If you uh, hold your red mou uh, right mouse button, your red mouse button, right, uh, you can spin around the camera and with WASD you can move the camera. I mean, that's pretty standard for computer games these days. <clears throat> so um, let's go on to how to save a list. So first of all, how will you even get a list? You have these nice little sacks over here and one of them says all cards. Just gonna press your left mouse button, hold it and then just, whoopsie, just um, get a sack out of it. And in this thing, um, there's everything in it you need to build a list. So first it's the huge ships, then it's the empire ships and empire squadrons. Then there will be the empire, uh, the rebel ships and rebel squadrons and then you have the upgrade cards and I think the rest you honestly don't need um, because these are just uh, some more upgrades and stuff. This is a damage deck which you already have here. What you could need if you're a really fancy player you could use the objective cards as well. But I usually I don't uh, spawn in the objective cards. I just make myself notes which ones I want to use and then I just tell my enemy. <clears throat> so um, ah next thing. When you uh, just drag and drop, you can uh, select mul multiple things. And with uh, Q and E, you can rotate things you have selected. So that's uh, like pretty easy on you there. So now we have them in the right direction. With F, you flip things. So I'm gonna flip the upgrade cards. So whenever I drag something out, it will have the right thingy. Now let's say I wanna have um, an empire list. So I'm just gonna have my ISD and for example some Gazantis. So I'm just gonna right click the ships thingy and just go to search and then you see everything is over here. And then you can just type Gazanti. Okay, and there's my cruisers. So I want those and maybe I want, I don't know, a Quasar because why not? So now I have these here. It's really important to note once, uh, if, if you wanna save your list, don't click spawn right away because that will break your list. Now um, I want some squadrons, so I'm gonna put some TIE Fighters over here and I'm just gonna right click and press search again. And you can see there's all the Empire squadrons. I just wanna have some TIE Phantoms as well. I'm just gonna put them here and that's gonna be great. <clears throat> 
So now we have our ships, so we can delete everything else. And we still lack upgrade cards. I mean, this is pretty straightforward as well. You just press search and then you just type in whatever. So uh, if I wanted Jezerot, I would just go for Jerry. There we go. And we have Jerry. Now we have, like, I don't know. What do we hunt? Like Squall for the... Uh, for the Quasar. Now, um, if this was my list, I would just arrange it a bit nicer, and I would I would press done on everything, so I don't accidentally spawn anything. So I have just done on, on here, done, 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 and then I would just arrange it nicely. And <clears throat> once I have done that, haha, um, I'm just gonna put these here. And then you just simply select everything. And now how do you save a list? Well, that's pretty easy. You just right click and you go to save object right here. As you can see, save object. Now you give it a name like a test list. And just to keep track of it, I tend to just put like uh, how many points it is. So this is, I, I haven't calculated it. It's just uh, to show you. So I would say like what, 200 points. I don't know. And then we save it and then we can delete it. So now you go into a different uh, into a different server and you want to play against that guy and you want to have your list. So what you you just have to do is you click on objects and then on saved objects and here should be the test list I just saved. Yeah, here it is. And then what you can do is you can either click it and it will just spawn it somewhere and I hate that because it just fucks up the game most of the time. So you just hold your click and just drag it onto the table and then it will spawn here. Bam, there you go. That's how you save your list and how you just uh, get it out again. So I hear you say, ah, oh, no, now there are no spawn buttons. Well, there's a complicated fix and an easy fix. So the complicated fix is just to, to put your cards on top of each other and then drag them back out and now you have the spawn buttons again. But that is complicated, you don't want to do that, you just press done. We don't care about that. What you want to do is you want to select everything, right click on it, Go down here to the description, you can see that, and you just type spawn. And now it's really important to not press space, not press enter, just click somewhere else, and bam, it spawns in your whole list, all of the ships. Sometimes it also spawns your upgrade cards in, which have like uh, a name like Darth Vader will spawn in the Darth Vader fighter because it's it works that way. Just delete that then. Now I hear you say, how do you, do you delete things? Well, you just uh, hover over them and you press backspace and then it's deleted, there you go really easy. So uh, next thing, <clears throat> you have your ship and in deployment you put your ship down and you just want to have it snuggled right here and you see what I do here is just do this which is really nice because it uh, allows you to know exactly where the ship is going to land and the key for that is T. So once you hold left mouse button and you press T it will press the ship or the squadron or whatever you have down to uh, the mat. And then once you're there and you have it there, you just want to press shields. <clears throat> and then the shield dials um, fly in. Now, if you fuck up your ship, I mean, it tends to happen, you just put it down and you just thought of something else and you want to put it somewhere else, you're just going to press uh, hover over the ship and press L. And as you can see, now it has no shields and no shield button. Well, first of all, you have to unlock all of the shield dials and you're just going to delete them because you're not going to need them anymore. Now you're just going to have your new uh, position for the ship and you're just going to put it down as before. And now you can see there's no shield button so you can't lock it and, sh and stuff. So you're just going to right click on it. You're just going to go to description and type shields. And with this it's the same thing again. You don't press spacebar, you don't press enter, you just click somewhere and all of the shields come flying in again. And that's really great. <clears throat> okay, now to some more etiquette. If you have uh, obstacles in there, and you have your obstacle and you, you place them at the beginning of the of the uh, game. I mean, that, that's just uh, rules right there. You, you put it down and you could just leave it like that. But what you will see uh, is going to happen once you fly over it. Like, I'm just going to make an illegal maneuver here because for the sake of the argument, you can see it's like glitching already. And if you do this, uh, it, it will stay that way and it's just not good. Yeah, you, you don't like that. So uh, we just press undo. Done. Uh, whoopsie, un undo, come on, confirm. So um, once you have put down um, your obstacle, you're just gonna hover over it and you press L to lock it down. And what you can see now is that if I do the same maneuver again, and yes, I know the Imperial, you, you'll see that it just 
stays in there and, and, and that's really great. So you want to do that. <clears throat> and uh, for the last thing I was asked how um, dice work. Well, I mean, dice are pretty uh, obvious. You just drag them out. And if you're an advanced guy, you're just going to hold right click and you're going to left click. Well, uh, you're going to hold left click, sorry, left click and you're just going to click right for one, right for two, right for three. So now we have th uh, four red dice and you're going to do the same thing with blue dice. And then you're just going to select all of them and then you're just going to press R for rolling them. So you just press R multiple times to make sure they're definitely rolling and there you have rolled dice. Congratulations. I mean, that's not that hard. <clears throat> Okay, I, th I think that's all the, the helpful tips I can give you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and see you in the next one, I guess. Mm -hmm.